Cause we're living our life like I like to say it twice This a life that I like Get the race every night Can't gaze in the night Can't it can't daily You just moving insane daily Don't forget about this month's 50 pound giveaway guys all the details will be in my instagram um so go into my instagram go on the post that says giveaway and all the details will be there but basically in a nutshell you gotta like you gotta comment uh you gotta be one of my you gotta be my most active follower on tiktok instagram youtube and my podcast you gotta leave a review on my podcast so tiktok instagram youtube and my podcast like comment just go off go crazy on them go crazy ah, go stupid ah, go crazy and then at the end of the month you'll win 50 pounds and a shout out from me and then obviously you'll be contacted by a direct message on instagram as well yes sir ah! what is going on guys manji the man back again with another video if you haven't already don't forget to like share subscribe tell your friends now let's I don't know why I got so much energy today. I went to sleep at literally 4 a.m. last night. Oh, if you know I'm probably just gonna crash at some point. Anyway, got another simp story. Well, actually, do you know what? It's not really a simp story. Like, this guy just asked me for advice. Listen, I ain't no like dating coach or some pro guy at all this stuff. I've just, listen, I've just had experiences, you know what I'm saying? And I think what separates me from a lot of guys is just that once I realize, once I realize that I need to make some kind of change. There's this quote that says, insanity is doing the same thing over and over and over again, expecting different results. Thing is with me, I'll make a mistake once, twice, three times, and, I, and I'll change. I, I change quickly, you see what I'm saying? And I notice things when they happen, and I'm like, all right, let's switch it up, and then eventually something works for me. So that's, you know, I guess that's why you guys are sending me sim stories, and because I enjoy doing sim stories, so keep sending them through. So basically, this guy chatting to one girl, for two years now, never really went where I wanted it to go. Do you know why I always stop? It's because when I see a long, I, when I see a timeline of like six months plus, bro, you're wait, why are you wasting your time for? I ain't gonna be talking to someone for two years and like nothing's happening. What, like, what's, what's the point? I decided to drop it and move on to new girls. You see, someone is finally, someone is finally doing the right thing, but I feel I haven't done it in so long. I've become such a beta simp. If you have any advice on how to shoot your shot with new girls, effectively, that would be great, bro, cheers. I don't know what was going on during that two year period. We, obviously, you recognize that you, you know, you were doing some simp, you are doing some simp behavior. When you haven't been in the game for a minute, you, bro, it's, it's natural to, you know, be a little bit rusty. Just even being just social in general, you know, you can be a bit rusty. What I will say is that obviously, look, right now we're in quarantine, all right? There's no girls out there for you to approach, really. <laughs> for it to like lead somewhere to like a day all right this is what i'll say i think it's pointless to shoot your shot with girls during quarantine Why like would you on say that? instagram and like just online because it's not bro it's not really gonna lead anywhere right now these girls are selling dreams i'll be real i'm not not all girls but most girls are selling dreams right now they're chatting to guys just for attention just for validation and it's not like once we get our quarantine if we get out of quarantine like, <laughs> like sometimes i'll be like yo kind of pointless but i understand you know you want to get back in the game a little bit understand the game here's some things i would do so when you dm a girl insta tinder whatever one thing that's worked for me in terms of just having a conversation and you know getting the ball rolling is look at her story obviously don't look at them as soon as she put puts them up it, it's not a desperate thing but it'll make you look like that you know what i'm saying so that's just how humans think <laughs> And again, it's the whole ego and self-esteem thing. Like, as soon as she sees loads of guys on, on her story, automatically, you know, she'll think, oh shit, I'm the shit. Like, it's, it's natural. I would DM her something to do with what's on her story. So whatever she posts, try and make it, you know, funny and a little bit creative. Don't just say, hey, or hi, or how are you? Cause bro, she's getting those messages left, right and center from all these other beta simps who have no game so what you need to do you need to actually get her attention so by messaging her something that's in her story or like on her timeline already like one of her recent posts she's gonna be down to talk about that because she posted it you see what i'm saying it wouldn't make sense for her not to talk about that that's one way um that's your foot in the door as they say <laughs> 
as you're now talking to her, obviously asking open-ended questions, questions that will cause her to talk a bit more whatever's in her story or about her life. So let's say she posts a throwback, you know, she went to Spain last summer and she's like, oh, take me back. You know how girls be posting them, oh, take me back pics, could <laughs> say something about that. You could say, oh, I went to Spain last summer too, or I went to Spain here, or my family lives in Spain, or um, what did you like about it? You must be missing that for real. Da -da 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 -da. And of course, like she's missing it because she's posted it, but now you're going to talk about it. Then you can talk about travel, where she likes to go, where would she like to live, that kind of stuff. Why? Like, bro, you can talk about so many things for ages, but here's the thing. When you're chatting to a girl, you want to obviously get to know her and you, you know, you want it to lead somewhere. You want to flirt and stuff. You want to keep the text messages like short, sharp and sweet. See what I'm saying? Don't text her more than she texts you. You see, so if she, this is a good rule of thumb, right? If she posts like three, three lines of text, you post two or one uh, or the same amount. Never do more because automatically she's going to be like, oh, this guy is desperate for me. This guy wants me. I've got him. You see what I'm saying? Therefore, keep that in mind. Guys, more than anything, if you're, listen, if you're trying to DM girls and stuff, don't, don't make that your priority. Make yourself your priority, your health, your wealth, your happiness. Make that your priority right now because when you focus on yourself, girls will naturally, they'll come to you because they can sense that positive motivational drive. They can sense that good energy. And that's what girls like. When you're chasing after girls, always going after them, bro, you're not gonna, you're not gonna get many. Like if that's like, if that's your goal, you're just gonna be wasting your time when you could be focusing on getting your bread up, getting your money up, you know, focusing on what you wanna do in life, what you wanna become, focusing on the gym, focusing on your spiritual health as well, as well as your mental health too. Focus on things that really matters and then put girls last on your list. I've said this in all the other videos. First, and that's like first and foremost, in fact. Now, once you've been kind of talking back and forth here and there for a couple of days, in the midst of like talking, you kind of want to drop some flirty lines. Now, I can't tell you in this case exactly what to say because it has to be authentic to you. You can't just say any flirty line that you got off Google. <laughs> it has to actually like make sense and it has to come from you and it has to be authentic. Otherwise, she, she'll be able to sense that, nah, this guy's fake, like he's not really Really about it that's where you find your game everyone has their own game every single guy has their own way of gaming girls and talking to girls flirting with girls so whilst you're kind of you know doing your thing talking about let's say again let's say you're talking about travel yeah she went to spain last year or whatever you could say something flirtatious like i'm gonna book our next holiday after quarantine is over my nigga <laughs> wink face something like that you see what i'm saying now that's now that'll be something that will come to my mind roughly so you gotta kind of gauge whatever you're talking about you gotta add in some kind of flirty line so then she knows that oh this guy's not just chatting to me because he wants to be friends he's he's into me you see what i'm saying and do it early i do you know i've said it so many times i've said it on tiktok i've said it on here i've said it on my podcast i've said it everywhere i've said it to you guys shoot your shot early earlier you shoot your shot the better you will know whether she's into you or not and the more you'll know that if you can move on or not i hope that made sense <laughs> because listen these girls they're not wasting our time they're not doing it we've got money to make we've got the gym to hit so shoot your shot early like troy dini against lester you know you, you remember that in it roll the clip Imagine if Troy Deeney didn't take that shot first time and he touched it once, twice, mm, mm, mm. He, bro, it, he wouldn't have scored. There would have been like a hundred defenders in front of that goal, park the bus, all of that. When we come out of quarantine, what I, one thing I did, this helped me get my confidence up so well, literally talk to people every day. Like make yourself a goal to talk to someone new every day. It doesn't just have to be a girl, like just in general, just have a general conversation with people around. And then what will happen is, you'll get more and more used to talking to people. And then when you talk to, you know, someone you like, like it just becomes second nature. Do this over and over again, like every day for about a month. Talk to someone new every day. Like you can even make it a goal. Talk to one new person every day. Then at the end of the month, you've potentially met 30 different people. Quick mess. Taking it up to the next level, just approach a new girl every day and see how it goes. If you get rejected, move on to the next one. Like guys, honestly, that's a whole nother thing. But don't fear rejection. It li it's, it's literally only as big as you make it. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like and comment on this video as always guys this has been managing man until next time peace believe more